Hey, it's JR. There are two options for serving lunch or dinner for a party. The first is family style at the table, and the second is a buffet. I opt for the buffet because you can get a lot of people served, and sometimes there isn't enough space for all the serving dishes on the table. You start with classic white plates because food usually looks better on a white plate, but if you do have nice china, feel free to use it. And then I set up each serving piece for what I am going to serve. I start with the protein, and then if I'm serving a sauce with it, I do the bowl right after that. And then I set it up for all the sides I'm going to have, either a starch, vegetable, or a salad. And then you can't forget all the serving utensils. And one tip is sometimes I put a post-it on each serving piece just to remind myself what I'm serving for the party. This is a time to get creative. All of my serving pieces that I have out here are either from a antique store or a local big box store. The antique stores are great because you can find silver pieces that are about 10 to $20. So if you find one that has a cool pattern, take it home and polish it up. You never know what you're going to find. When I select a serving piece, I find one that is a little heavier. And then these are more simple and traditional. And I just went to Home Goods just to get a salad bowl. And then they also have awesome, cool wood bowls you can use for uh, bread or also just another salad bowl. So this is how I set it up for a buffet. And it's great because a lot of people can get through. And if you are not doing a seated buffet, uh, always make sure to have the utensil roll ups at the end of the buffet. Now that the buffet is set up, we can focus on the table. And this is your opportunity to get as creative as you want. Our dinner parties are more casual, so this is how we set the table. It's just a placemat, white napkin, our everyday uh, wine and water glasses, and then utensils. I always pick a white hydrangea from our local grocery store and put it in a glass vase. The candlesticks, I found those at an estate sale, and it was just something that I caught my eye, and I came home and polished them up, and they're really cool. If it is a holiday, feel free to use a tablecloth and dress your table as you see fit. I hope all these tips help, and remember to have fun.